Are you looking to improve your experience using DeepSeek? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite DeepSeek hacks that you can use right away to get the most out of this free AI software. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So this first deep seek hack that I'm going to share with you is one that you might already know about, but we now have access to deep seeks R1 reasoning model inside perplexity and think about how important this is. We no longer have to go to deep seeks website in order to use the R1 model. Now there are limitations. If you are a free user of perplexity, you only get up to five searches per day using the R1 model. And if you're on the pro version, you get a lot more than that. I'm on perplexity pro. I have several other videos about that you can find in the video description below. But think about it, for those who are concerned about the data privacy issues with DeepSeek being in China with the CCP involved and everything that comes with that, you can now access R1 on perplexity that is based in, in the US, so it's US based servers. So for example, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. If we ask it any research related prompt, here I'm asking it provide three business ideas related to AI agents I should start in 2025, you'll see right Right away, it's triggering DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model. So this is the exact same thing that we would see inside DeepSeek as it's going through its chain of thought reasoning step by step, which is one of the best components of it. It's now doing this inside perplexity. And in addition to perplexity, we're also starting to see a lot of other AI tools integrate DeepSeek's models into its platform. So right here, I'm on SEO writing AI. If you've never heard of this, this is in my opinion, one of the best AI tools out there for creating long form SEO optimized blog posts at scale. I'll leave the review in the description if you wanna learn more. But if I click one click blog post and scroll down to AI model, I now notice that DeepSeek R1 and also DeepSeek V3 are integrated inside this AI tool. And this is important because a lot of other AI tools, just like SEO writing AI, are adding DeepSeek as an available model in there because one, it's inexpensive, and two, it's open source. So why would you not add DeepSeek's models or the API in there versus all the other open AI models and Claude models that also cost more? You'll see here, these cost one credit on SEO writing AI versus some of these other models, even GPT-4 Turbo and Claude 3 Opus, GPT-01, that's 15 credits per use. So 15 times more expensive than what DeepSeek's R1 is inside SEO writing AI. This is a really important update and I'll continue to see this pattern of AI tools adding DeepSeek models into their platforms. Now, the second DeepSeek hack I want to talk about is how we can leverage DeepSeek to help us in the entire website development process, whether that's coding, if you need anything coding related, website strategy, UX, content creation, and everything else that goes into the process of building a website. And for those of us like myself who aren't very technical and don't have a coding background, I'd recommend pairing DeepSeek with a solution like Hostinger, and especially Hostinger's AI website builder. And for full transparency, Hostinger is sponsoring this video, but I've been a satisfied customer of theirs for over six years now. I run a marketing agency and all of my clients' websites and my personal websites are hosted on Hostinger. So I appreciate them reaching out to sponsor this video. And if you don't have a website, or maybe you're not satisfied with your current website, I'd highly recommend looking into Hostinger. This is my preferred all-in-one website solution for domains, hosting, security, and all the other AI features that they continue to add, particularly its AI website builder. And I'm going to walk you through this here in a little bit of how I would use this paired with DeepSeek. I also have a special discount link that you can find in the video description or pinned comment below that will get you up to 75% off Hostinger's business website builder plan. That's the plan that I'm on and I would recommend that over the premium website builder plan, especially if you plan on using any of these AI features. Some of my favorites are the AI heat maps and also some of the AI SEO tools. So if you wanna leverage all the AI features that Hostinger keeps adding to its platform, you do not get that in this premium plan 
plan, but you do in the business plan. And if you're doing anything e-commerce related, it's a no brainer to get the business plan as well. So all you need to do once you're on this page is click choose plan. And I actually have an additional coupon code that you can use to get even more than 75% off. So if I click choose plan, and then once you're on the next page, click have a coupon code. And if you enter my name in caps, Ryan Dozer, and click apply, you'll get an additional discount into that 75%. So you get an additional 10% off with my Ryan Dozer coupon code, in addition to the original 75% off that you get for being a follower of my YouTube channel. Then obviously you would click continue and then fill out the rest of the registration information, create an account, etc. So now I wanna show you how we can use Hostinger's AI website builder paired with the help of DeepSeek. And all you need to do after you've signed up for an account and you're logged into your dashboard on Hostinger here is you would click websites in the upper left menu, click websites list, and this would get to your current websites page. Now, if you don't have one, all you need to do is click add a website and then click Hostinger website builder. And this will take us to the AI website builder where we can have a website live in a matter of minutes. And so then Hostinger is going to ask you for a brand name and also a description. And this is where we can use DeepSeek. So what I did is I actually took a screenshot of this on my Mac and then I opened up DeepSeek and I said the following, I uploaded that screenshot from the Hostinger website builder. And I said, I need help building a website with Hostinger's AI website builder. Based on the provided attachment, come up with a description that does not exceed 700 characters. And then I gave it some context of who my business is. And in this example, I'm a mobile tire shop called Tire Heroes in Des Moines, Iowa, offering mobile tire services. And so here's the answer that it gave me. So what I'm going to do is copy this description, come back to Hostinger. I'm going to do my brand name as Tire Heroes and then paste that description right here. So it says great description. Then I'm going to click create a website and then I'm going to come back after this process is complete. All right, so that process literally took less than 30 seconds. And is this website perfect? No, but it gives you a start and a foundation that you can build off of versus having no clue where to even start with this stuff. And so then what we can do is click continue to edit the website. And this will take us to the actual drag and drop AI website builder. And so then what you can do is if you have a domain, that's what I would recommend. So like tireheroes.com or whatever your brand is, I would get that domain on Hostinger and connect it here. Or if you just wanna go live, we can click go live and that will make our website live. And so here's the placeholder domain that we have. And if I click view site, now my AI website is technically live. So where does DeepSeek come into the picture here? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save my homepage as a PDF file since I can't screenshot the whole thing. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And then I'm gonna come back to DeepSeek and I'm going to prompt it with the following. I'm gonna say, okay, great. Now the website is built and I've uploaded a screenshot of the homepage. Can you help me generate content for the following pages? Home services about contact. So I'm going to add the attachment and find that PDF version of my website right here as it's uploading and then pending and parsing to DeepSeek. So I'm gonna wait a few seconds here while this is working and then I'm going to click enter. And while it's doing that, the reason that I did home services about contact is if I go back to my website that hosting or generated with AI, those are the pages right here. If I just click to services, for example, this is not bad at all, considering it took 30 seconds to generate this from a 700 character description. We have customer reviews you can add there. Those are placeholders. Obviously the gallery is placeholders. You'd add real images here. Same with about, that's the placeholder information. You'd add your about there. But overall, this is not bad at all. And if I come back to DeepSeek, you'll see here it's helping me with content. So based on that PDF of the homepage, it's now generating content for all the other pages that I assigned it. It's saying H2, so it's adding in those H2 and syntax. We could probably come back and say, actually add the syntax of an H2 versus just listing H2. You can obviously fine tune this however you want. But the point I'm trying to make here is that we can leverage DeepSeek not only help us with the strategy and ideation component of building a website, but we can also help us with the content of building a website. And let's say you wanna add a blog or add local service pages to a website like this. Well, what we could do is come back to DeepSeek and within the same chat, 
We could say generate a local service page optimized for the keyword mobile tire shop in Des Moines, Iowa, then help me figure out what other local service pages I should create to generate local SEO traffic. And while it's formulating that in the background, what we would do inside Hostinger if we wanted to start a blog is we would click more settings, click blog, and then click start a blog. And you'll see it added a blog page right from the main home screen there. And then what we would do is click add new posts. And here's where you could use Hostinger's AI website generation or AI content generator to actually generate the content if you want to do that or you can say skip I'll write it myself and here we have the blog post right so we can come back to deep seek and you'll see here it's generating that post so if we do mobile tire shop in Des Moines Iowa come into the website builder that's what we would name the post and then you would click this pencil icon right here to change the title. So I'm going to paste the title, Mobile Tire Shop in Des Moines, Iowa. If it already exists, you can obviously change that to whatever. For the meta description, DeepSeek also added that. We can copy and paste the meta description in here if we want to do that as well. Change the author's date. I'm going to click save. But then what we can do is actually take the content from DeepSeek. I think it ends right here. So I'm going to copy and paste the content from DeepSeek that it generated for that local service page. And then I'm going to paste it right here. Now, obviously the formatting might be a little screwed up so you can change the colors, the text, et cetera, the font. But here's what the blog post looks like, right? So it's not perfect, but you can see how we can start leveraging DeepSeek alongside Hostinger's AI website builder versus trying to figure it out yourself or spend thousands of dollars hiring website developers, copywriters, the whole shebang. I'm just trying to show you how we can integrate both platforms. And again, if you want to try Hostinger and its AI website builder, be sure to click my link in the video description or pin comment below for an exclusive discount. Thank you again to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Now, another deep seek hack that I want to show you is that we can actually create apps locally inside deep seek to automate certain tasks. Now, what do I mean by this? And I'll share this prompt and all the other prompts that I mentioned in the video description below if you want to try these yourself. But here I'm saying create a tool that generates SEO optimized hashtags based on the keyword that I provide for videos on YouTube and TikTok. You should focus on trending hashtags. I want to run it right here within DeepSeek, so use HTML. And I'm going to skip ahead after this is complete. So in a matter of about 60 seconds, DeepSeek generated all of this HTML code in order to create a hashtag generator. And so to use this, all we would do is click run HTML and here we can start using this right inside DeepSeek. And so here it dropped down between TikTok and YouTube. You can add Instagram, or whatever else you want here. I'm gonna click YouTube and then you would just add your main keywords. So DeepSeek and then DeepSeek hacks would be the two for this video. Click generate relevant hashtags. And these aren't going to be perfect, but there are some good ones in here that you can use when optimizing your videos. DeepSeek tips, DeepSeek tutorial, tech guide, DeepSeek ideas, DeepSeek, right? Say all that fast 10 times. But I hope you guys see the idea here is that we can leverage DeepSeek to generate apps locally versus all the technical stuff that goes into doing this outside of a platform like DeepSeek. Now, the next deep seek hack I want to share with you is we can start using this tool as our own personal research assistant. So make sure R1 is enabled, but what you're going to do is prompt it with something like the following. Again, I'll leave this prompt in the video description below. Generate an advanced research prompt I can use for keyword research. Now, you don't have to do keyword research. You can do anything that makes sense to what you're doing. But I said, be sure to include important metrics like monthly search volume, keyword difficulty, CPCs, keyword intent, and content ID. Is. And I'm going to skip ahead after this part is done and show you what I'm going to do next. So after DeepSeek has generated an advanced research prompt, what I'm going to do in this example is copy and paste this more advanced prompt than just coming in and saying, hey, do keyword research for this. I'm going to open a new chat. I'm going to enable both DeepThink and search. And first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do target keyword. Let's do uh, DeepSeek just as an example. And then I'm going to paste the rest of that advanced prompt right here. I'm going to click enter and I'm gonna skip ahead until this is done. All right, so now you'll see that DeepSeek performed an advanced keyword research analysis for that target keyword and based on that big prompt that I provided earlier. And here's what the output looks like, core metrics and keyword prioritization. It gives me the monthly search volume, keyword difficulty, CPC or cost per click, keyword intent. Now this data is probably not gonna be 100% accurate, but it is a good approximation most likely. And then it gives some high volume keywords with the search volume, keyword difficulty, cost per click. Uh, then it talks 
talks about the landing page, competitor and gap analysis. It even links off to sources for all of these different metrics, uh, clusters, emerging trend keywords, actionable recommendations. So it talks about creating pillar pages for DeepSeek, commercial content, long tail opportunities. How does DeepSeek reduce GPU costs? That's an example that it provides. But you see here, this provided a much more in-depth analysis for keyword research versus just coming into DeepSeek home screen or chat GPT and saying, hey, perform keyword research for DeepSeek versus that advanced prompt that I just showed you right here. Now, the last DeepSeek hack I want to share with you is the concept of leveraging its R1 reasoning model as a basic legal consultant or even a healthcare consultant. Now, a huge disclaimer before I share an example, I'm not recommending that if you have a serious medical condition or a serious legal issue that you refer to an AI tool like DeepSeek. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a medical expert. But the point I'm trying to get across is that if you have a basic legal question or a basic healthcare question, we can come to AI tools like DeepSeek's R1 model and start leveraging that just to get a basic understanding before we pay hundreds of dollars over the phone talking to an attorney or maybe going to the doctor's office for a mild cough, right? Just spitballing here situations that happen quite often. And so what we can do is we can prompt it with the following. Act as a legal expert. What are some general legal rights of a tenant facing sudden eviction in Iowa and what steps are typically recommended to respond? So for example, if you or someone you know is in the situation like this, we can rely on DeepSeek's R1 model for a basic understanding and guidance of what this means versus calling an attorney for a question like this and they're gonna charge you hundreds of dollars probably for an answer similar to what DeepSeek's R1 model will provide. And in a matter of seconds, DeepSeek's R1 provided information about the legal rights of Iowa tenants. A lot of the stuff I did not know about, non-payment of rent, landlords must provide a three-day notice to pay rent or vacate, serious violations, lease violations, month-to-month -month stuff, right to defend in court. And it also provides recommended steps for tenants. Review your documents, remedy the issue, seek legal assistance, even provides a phone number right here, prepare for court, attend the hearing, et cetera, et cetera. It also lists some additional resources, gives you a website to Iowa Legal Aid, Iowa Court Self-Help Center, local housing authorities. Now, the reason I bring this up is, again, if it's a serious issue, I would not rely on advice from AI. But if you don't want to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars talking to an attorney over the phone where they would provide you information that's probably similar to this, this is a great use case for a tool like DeepSeek. And lastly, as a little bonus hack that I want to share with you is that you can run DeepSeek locally on your device. It is an open source model. So you can download a software like LM Studio, I'll leave a link to this in the description below, and you can start using DeepSeek locally. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video, I tried to do this, but my device, just being honest with you guys, isn't powerful enough to run this at full speed. I did show you this in a previous video. I will leave a link to this video in the description below where you can use DeepSeek's model locally locally. Now this is important because if you don't have internet access for whatever reason for a short period of time, you can run DeepSeek locally without the internet. And when those who are concerned with data privacy issues, running it locally is a lot safer than going to DeepSeek's website and doing it that way. So again, just a quick tip that I wanted to share with you if you didn't know, you can run DeepSeek locally on your device. So those are some of my favorite deep seek hacks that I wanted to share with you. And now I want to hear from you guys. Are there any other deep seek hacks that I missed? Let me know in the comments below if there are other ways that you are using this AI software. And if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.